So today we're gonna to look at the gradient tools in DaVinci Resolve 15, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're just gonna start a new project in Resolve 15. And so go to Generators down here and go to Fusion Composition, drag that in the timeline and select the composition and go into actually into Fusion. And so I'm gonna break this connection right now because I'm gonna set up my own gradients using different tools here. So if we drag in a rectangle and I'm gonna just pull this up into the box so we can see it. Right now it's just a black and it's the type is named solid color. If we wanna change it to a gradient, we just have to go down here and pick gradient. There's some different things that we can do. This is a linear gradient. We have all these options. We can do, you know, for 3D, we can do angle and we can do a radial. So this will be in the center or the circle and we can pull this, this center over here. And so I'm gonna add some color in here. So we'll start with kind of a light blue, how about right there? Actually, let's go yellow. We'll start with a yellow in the center and let's go all the way out here and I need to select this little triangle here to get that to activate. And I'm gonna go all the way to a red out here and so the other thing that we can do is we can add more points for our gradient. So I could come in here and say, let's add a, let's go to a little bit more like a, almost like a green tint around the yellow there. And I can add another one in here and we'll go, we'll just add a little bit more of an orange in there. So there's a lot we can do with these, different gradients and as you can see here this is we can animate this gradient so let's do that we'll start at zero I'm gonna right click on this and I can set say animate or I can just select this key here and we'll go out say 40 and I'm gonna select and make it down here push that red in a little bit more I'll do another one here I'm gonna push it in even more Almost close that up, do another one, and we'll start bringing it back here. Okay, you could probably see where, I, where I'm going with that. You can do a lot of cool transitions. Um, so if we play that back, it's just gonna animate through that. So that's kind of neat. And so what else can we do with gradients? Well, there's a whole bunch of things. So. If we want to add, say, a, I'll just type it in, hit shift space bar, type in text, and we're gonna go to text plus, we'll start there. We'll add a text plus. I'm gonna drag that up into the window up here. And we need to type some text first, so we'll type in gradient. I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger so we can take a look at it. And so you can see that there's a color here. We can select that, obviously, and make it a color. But we can also go to this paintbrush, and that's the shading. And in the shading, we can actually apply a gradient. The same tools are here, so we can see solid image or gradient. If we pick gradient, we can start on the left, and let's do a blue this time. We'll do a light blue here. On this tab, we're gonna go with a darker blue. Okay, I'm gonna add one more in the middle. So if we change the location of the actual gradient, and so to do that, we, we need to look at this texture. And so this is the aspect ratio of the texture, and this is the angle of the texture. So we can change the angle. We can go XY here, 
by using that. And we can change the size of the gradient. And we can change the mapping level. So I'm going to go in and slide that all the way over. And so these can be animated as well. You can see the buttons out here. So we can, we can animate a gradient for text, whatever we want to do. And we can give it some motion if we'd like to. Um, you can almost simulate some lighting effects and some different things like that. So that, that's pretty interesting. So what else can we do? So we can also put gradients on shapes. So if I bring in, let's say a, let's do a billboard. So I have a plane here and I already made this kind of this gradient here. I don't know if you remember that one. So it's kind of looks like the sun there and I'll bring it into this shape. And so now that applies right onto like a billboard there. And so if we take a look at that. Now we have that, that gradient in, in 3d space. So we can do some different things there. And one good use that, that I use this for quite a bit is I'll make some adjustments here. We're going to go back to a linear and actually I'm just going to start over. I'm going to pull this out I can do it so much faster. I'll pull in a new background, connect it to this shape. I'm going to say gradient. Okay. So I'm going to do something that that's probably that you can use quite a bit. And I'm going to start by placing a gradient onto, onto this billboard here. So I want to start with a light blue. We'll go right there. And so on this side, I want to go quite a bit darker somewhere up in there. There we go. And now I can change my offset. Okay. And so that's pretty good. So now you can see what I'm trying to do is kind of make a background, like a sky background, more cartoonish. So, let me drag this up here. So now we have this line that we can make adjustments on. So if I bring this line down to the bottom and the top of the line, make sure you grab it. I'm going to bring this up to the top here. And so I can really make some adjustments based on what I set in my gradient properties. So visually we can just select how we want this to look. You can play around with this just to get different looks that you might want to try. We take this shape here and we make this, this quite a bit bigger and we can then place this in a scene and, and have a lot of depth to our scene because, you know, the bigger we make it, it's hard to, to keep it off of the angle of the camera. So that's a very useful tool that I use quite a bit. Um, obviously we can use images on top of these planes as well, but Gradients are a nice tool just to give a kind of a clean looking cartoonish type sky. Okay, so you might ask, what about 3D text? Of course it works with 3D text. There is one more step that you have to do though. So let's pull our 3D text up into this window to look at it. And we'll do the same thing, except we'll do 3D gradient. Oops. Okay. And so let me zoom back a little bit using the uh, control button and my mouse wheel. And so I'm going to go ahead and extrude that as well. Give it a little bit of depth. Okay. So if we try to say, I want to take this gradient I made before, actually I'll leave it in the background and I'll use this one. So if I try to drag that in there, you can see it won't, won't allow it. What we really want to do is go to this tab. It's the shading. And so there's two types of materials that you can apply. One's a solid and one's an image. We have to select the image and then that gives us an additional node here on this, this tool and just drag that in. Now we can apply a gradient right onto that 3d text. And we can make adjustment it, it is in 3d space. So that's kind of neat. So if we go back to our gradient here, we can still use our animation. So that might give you some ideas for, for making some different creations. So there we go. And we can also animate these points here. We can do different types of gradients still on the 3d, like a radial gradient. And so we would probably want to drag this in here and we can make our adjustments. 
however we want it for that text. You can give it kind of that, like a glowing lava effect for your text. I know all kinds of ideas are popping in your head right now. So, and one more type of gradient I want to show you guys. So this time I'm going to add a polygon tool and we will go ahead and put this up in this window here. And so now there's this drawing tool. And so I'm going to click on some different points here and just create a little shape. Close that up. It's a little jagged. So I'm going to go ahead and select these points and hit shift S to kind of smooth them out a little bit. And you can see the outline of that kind of that gradient there. Um, over this text. So I'm going to move this background up there. And so you can see that that it just is showing us the outline. If we connect these two tools, now the gradient itself is actually just in within that mask tool there. We can go back to the gradient over here and we can change the offset a little bit, get a little bit more color in there. That looks pretty good. And so now if we go to this polygon, we can, we can change the shape of that. And it's going to pick up whatever the gradient is. And all these things can be animated. Uh, the polygon tool can, as well as the gradient. Hopefully that spurs some creativity for you. I know it has for me. So moving on. So another place that we can use gradients is for texturing for 3D shapes. And so I just have a, a rig set up here. And I, actually, I'll release another video with how I set this up with a planet and a scene. But um, I'm going to apply a gradient to the actual planet so we can get some difference in color here. And so looking at the settings of, of the gradient, all we need to do is go in here and choose a gradient. At, it's just a 2D gradient. And we can go with linear. We can go with a radial. And so I'm going to use a linear and then I've set my points just like we did before with the different colors. And I can change these around and get a different look for my actual planet. And so that, that's very handy to be able to do that. So one of the other cool gradients that Resolve has, and it's in the Fusion tab for, for this example. And so if you press Shift Spacebar and type in Gradient, there is the actual 3D gradient we'll add. And we can connect this into um, as a material. And so this would take the place of a diffuse color material. And so now I'll have this, this actually these new properties that I can set. So it defaults to linear. I'm going to change that to radial. And I'm going to start changing around the scale. And so I can see that on my 3D object. And we can do this a little bit with offset as well for positioning. And so now I will go ahead and start adding some color to this. Let me choose this node first. I'm going to go with a red there. And on this side, I'm going to go with a, let's try to go with a black. On this side, I'm going to select that one. And I'm going to go with more of a purple. And so now we see this difference here. And I want to adjust my scale. And so I can start seeing those differences. And so we could use that. Obviously, this is kind of a, a cartoony look. So if we have a light source, say a star or something, we can get kind of a simulated look using this 3D gradient. I have this set up with some other things already. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lighting. This spotlight is just setting itself on this location. If we take a look at the scene here. If we go into back to the gradient properties, um, we can still make some adjustments to the scale. And so we can get some different effects based on your lighting as well. Um, we can get kind of a, a haze look around this by using some different options. So this 3D gradient tool is very nice for mixing some colors into your, your actual materials on top of your objects. And there's a lot of different options to choose with that in your settings. So take a look at that as well. There's some really good options there for using gradient tools in DaVinci Resolve 15. And using the Fusion tab, it just opens up a whole new world on your compositions and on different motion graphics and text tools, titles, everything that you can imagine. So 
Take a look at those gradient tools. Please subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up on the actual video. Post some comments if you have questions and, and I'll try to get them answered. But thanks a lot for watching. Take care, guys.